Welcome back to This Is A Commander Channel, where this is a Commander Channel, and today I'm going to talk about Commander Tough Rules and Cool Interactions, episode 117. Today's episode is going to be a subscriber-requested episode. I love this question as it's a bit of an expansion upon things that I've covered previously in the area of steps to casting a spell. The comment was a really, really good question and one that I felt deserved a standalone video to uh, answer it. It wasn't too, too complicated, but the fact that it was just such a really good expansion upon things that I've covered before, I felt it deserved its own video. So previously I've covered how things like treasures can indeed count towards reducing cost of spells with affinity and then how they can also still be used to sacrifice to pay for that spell with affinity. And then two episodes ago, I covered how a card like Wall of Roots can help reduce the cost of the Pride of Holclade with its toughness and then it can help pay the cost for Holclade despite its toughness now being reduced and that was what was helping to reduce the cost. So now let's cover this new thing in the area of steps to casting a spell. The question is this, you control a Goreclaw, Terror of Calcisma, and it has the ability that says creature spells you cast with power 4 or greater cost 2 generic mana less to cast. And then in your hand you have a total of 4 cards and one of those cards is a Psychosis Crawler, which its power and toughness are each equal to the number of cards in your hand. Now, one thing to note about this ability of the Crawler is that it is a CDA, or a Characteristic Defining Ability. And we can see in the Comprehensive Rules, Section 604.3, which I've skipped over a lot of the excess rules stuff in this one, but the important thing is that Characteristic Defining Abilities function in all zones. This includes your hand, the stack, and on the battlefield. So while the crawler and the three other cards are in your hand, his power and toughness are both four. So you control that gore claw that reduces four power creatures by two generic mana. So if you only have access to three mana, could you cast your crawler that typically costs five mana? Unlike the scenarios that I mentioned earlier in the episode involving treasures and affinity or the pride of Holclade, this scenario sadly will not work out, and it's all to do with the steps you go through in casting a spell. We will find the steps to casting a spell in the comprehensive rules in section 601, but the two parts that we actually really care about for this episode is 601.2a and then 601.2f. And 6012A says that to propose the casting of a spell, a player first moves that card or the copy of that card from where it is to the stack. And then the later step that we care about, 601.2F, says that the player determines the total cost of the spell. And there's a whole lot more in those rules. I kind of cut out a lot of the stuff that wasn't too important. So, basically that means that we will physically move the crawler out of our hand as we propose to cast the spell and we move it to the stack, at which point his CDA that sets his power is going to see that his power is now 3 rather than the 4 that it was before when the crawler was still in our hand. And then when we get to the step F in casting the spell to determine the cost of the crawler, the ability from Goreclaw will not be able to reduce the crawler from 5 generic mana down to 3 generic mana. And because you won't be able to finish casting it, the crawler will just go back to your hand. Sad news, but that's just how it will work. Or, well, not work. Anyhow, that's all I've got for today's episode. As always, I hope that all of you have found this video to be entertaining at least, and I hope that a few of you have even learned something about the crazy rules in this great game of magic. Have a good one. Ta-ta!